They've called me a lot of things. Son, soldier, spy. Some have called me rascal. I admit I haven't been too fair when it has come to women. They have deserved more than the scraps of me, which is about all I have given. The leftover hours and only enough intimacy to take the intimacy I have desperately required. So anything you might say is deserved, even if you're wrong about most of it. Some have even thought I had become a missionary. What I was or might have been doesn't matter. Only what I became. Sad. When I went to walk with the nomad shepherds, it was my sadness that drove me, even if I didn't know it then. Where it comes from, no one can tell me, but I suspect the shepherd knows. A shepherd, unknown, unimportant, perceived in the city as superstitious and outdated, a hired hand, a watchman acquainted with the night, the threat of wild animals, and silence. The modern shepherd is as the ancient shepherd. We do not need him, nor want him at our table. But without him, we could not dream. The shepherd writes our psalms. I was neither the first to go to him, nor the most interesting. But I might have been the saddest. In a thousand years of the migrating shepherds of Tachetti, I might be the first man to choose to walk with him out of desperation. This is how I went to him, traveling to the ancient lands of Herodotus' wars, between the Black and Caspian Seas. I went with the goal of painting my emptiness into my photographs. No longer a journalist seeking facts. I went for myself, seeking a way out. With my cameras, I went wandering with the nomad shepherds of Tachetti and their dogs. And as it turns out, also with my ghosts. I found myself on the eve of an awakening I no longer believed possible. Though the facts of this awakening remain obscure, one fact must be told. She found me, and she is not who you expect. Hands, hold a broke bird, wings and tiny bones, feathers matted in black oil sorrows. Hands gentle as a heavy fisherman, holding the weight of seas. Fingers strong as reasons, holding hearts in the air-thin soul of the broke bird me. Two hands and eyes looking for me. Did she? Does she look for me now?
Hens brought broke bird me into this place like an old house. In its center is a great hall with a dome of glass talking with the sky. The halls of every room are never in darkness because of this conversation. The sun, the moon, the stars, they come to speak with one another in the house, conversing in hallways, on velvet chairs, and along white wood walls. They tiptoe on dark wood floors, warming one another with thanksgiving. Even in a storm and darkness, there is a conversation. The hands burn great fires in the absence of heavenly lights, giving hearth-light words to the storm-stunned rooms. Here the broke bird me is put to rest, and I sleep the sleep of terror's exhaustion with the whole world outside me whispering. The hands. She sits in the darkness room in the house of light, in the kingdom of conversation, and I wake to the spell of her speaking. like sheep have strayed away we have left God's path to follow our own way yet the father laid on him the loving father laid on him the sins of us all 